Welcome to Virtual Worlds as a Tool for Spanish Teaching. This is another in the SL MOOC 17 course. And I would like to tell you a little bit about today's presentation. We are going to um, be receiving a presentation from Eugenia Calderon, who is a teacher of Spanish in Digital Worlds and Second Life and in real life as well about this particular area here in DigiWorlds called Learning at Escape or Escape Playground in DigiWorlds. Virtual worlds such as Second Life and DigiWorlds most certainly offer the immersive environment necessary for learning languages. And in this presentation, Eugenia will talk about the advantages of using SL and DW and how these virtual worlds can be used to transmit knowledge of Spanish through their various fun tools for learning. She'll also take us on a tour of the Escape Playground. I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, El Profesor, who is Dr. James Abraham, Callisto Encinal in SL, and El Profesor here in DigiWorlds. He is the developer of this particular space. He's been living in virtual worlds since 2006. He has taught in Second Life as Callisto Encinal, as I mentioned, since 2007. In the spring of 2009, he completed a sabbatical in which he created an interactive active, immersive Mexican village in Second Life. His current pedagogical interests include the use and creation of virtual worlds for education, serious gaming, and innovation in the classroom. Escape is his latest and most ambitious project. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about our speaker today, Eugenia Calderon, who's known as Martha Eugenia Lino in real life, is the owner of Spanish with Eugenia in Second Life, a teaching facility in the Chilbo community on the mainland of Second Life. She is a Spanish teacher with six years experience in real life and seven years of experience in Second Life. She teaches classes in basic, intermediate, and advanced Spanish. In addition to writing her own textbooks, incorporating field trips to Spanish language sites and sims in Second Life and now at DigiWorlds, she also coordinates plays and presentations, sometimes written by her students and also portrayed by her students as an exercise in using Spanish. And then more, more recently, she's begun to teach Spanish here on the Escape Playground in digital worlds. And I'm a student <laughs> for many years and can testify to what a wonderful teacher she is. So Eugenia, the floor is yours. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Nelly. Thank you, Piona, for inviting us, me and Professor Calisto Encinal. Um, unfortunately, he's not here. He has to attend uh, something in real life. Then me, me, I, I am going to present this uh, this lecture for you for uh, SL MOOC 17, and I hope you enjoy. Now let, let me start. Um, I am going to present this lecture, virtual worlds for a, as a tool for Spanish teaching. Well, yes, I have been teaching, like Maggie said, I have been teaching here in virtual worlds for seven years. And uh, I am going to talk about my own project, Spanish with Eugenia, and also about my project, our, our project with Professor Calisto Encinal, Spanish language learning at escape here in DigiWorld. Uh, let me make an introduction to our topic. The, I am going to talk about Spanish with Eugenia, my project, uh, about Spanish language le learning at Escape. I am going to try to answer this question, why Second Life and the World? Why am I using? And if it is possible to create a class in virtual worlds, how how many tools or which are the tools we used for our classes, other kind and tools or tools and uh, organize, um, cultural activities to help in the classes, in the Spanish classes. That is the idea. How we use uh, virtual worlds to teach Spanish. That is our, our uh, objective. 
Uh, let me continue the next. I am, I am going to show some slide very fast because I, I want to, to give some time to explain activities we do. And uh, later we are going to make a tour for escape. There are a lot of th things to see, a lot of activities to try for a student, and you'll see, you'll see, see. the things we do here, in, or the way we use uh, virtual worlds to teach Spanish. Okay, first, my place, let me show you my place in Second Life. Uh, we work at the same time, Second Life and Escape, in the world, but my place is uh, on the board, as you can see. Uh, I have a main plaza, you can arrive my, my place there, and you can find a material for the class. You can see the material I have to show you the material I use for the classes. Uh, there is a cultural plaza. Uh, when I show sometimes some cultural exhibition to talk about, um, um, especially about Mexico, I am Mexican, and one way to help knowledge uh, to, to teach the language is uh, using cultural information or, or doing cultural activities. Uh, in that, for that reason, I have a cultural plaza, and continuously I have that kind of uh, information, cultural information in that cultural plaza. You can find also my schedule. All the time I have my schedule, so you can see if I am not there, you can see the activities I have, and then you can, well, try one class with me. There we use Classroom on the sky, because it's better to work on the sky. So that way we are alone and we don't get any person to disturb the class. Uh, let me change the slide. Uh, here we have information about escape, the, the place we are, Spanish language learning at escape. Also we have a main plaza where we are now. Uh, we have an information kiosk. Later, we visit the, the places to explain more, to talk about more about these places. And we have a shopping plaza to, well, we have a lot of things. Shopping plaza, the amusement park, the restaurant, the school, the house, a lot of things where we can practice Spanish. When, well, when, when, where student, where, where student can do some activities to get uh, more information or to get more practice uh, for the language. We also use that NPCs, the non-player character. Uh, we, well, I don't know too much the, well, I mean technical, technical information, but we use that kind of avatars, a uh, non-player character, to practice dialogues. Later on the tour, we'll see that NPCs to the way they work. Okay, uh, let me change. The well, do we have a question? Why virtual worlds? Well, one of the the thing we need to to teach a class uh, or, or specifically Spanish is to get an, 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 an educational environment, an, an immersion environment. Uh, in real life, yeah, in real life, we, we make travels, we organize parties, we organize conferences, we do field trips, and we see movies, of course, that kind of activities we do in real life, we can recreate in virtual worlds. And that is the reason we use virtual worlds. Uh, as you can see on the on the board, uh, we ha we have classroom, mm -hmm, yeah, well, traditional classroom, but not only that we get in virtual worlds. We can see a movie, yeah, because we can get some board, some TV, TV is here in in virtual worlds. We can organize activities. Uh, cultural like the the picture 
uh, it says lecture about International Women's Day. Well, sometimes I talk about that kind of topics in Spanish, of course, to help my student to understand Spanish or to have conversation, uh, get some comments uh, about the topic we are talking in Spanish, of course, to, to encourage students to use Spanish. We, me, <laughs> me, I am using this activity, plays. Uh, we organize plays uh, on the picture on the board, if you can see, presenting a play. Uh, me and my student, we perform plays uh, in Spanish, of course, and then uh, we can get ex scenarios, stages to to perform that that plays in Spanish also. And th that way we get that immersion environment, immersion environment. So that is the reason we use virtual worlds. We can get all the, well, most of the activities we do in real life, we can recreate them in virtual worlds. Next, next slide. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I have here a question. It is, if, is it possible to recreate a class in Second Life? Yes, it is possible. Um, as I say, we get that immersion environment. We can have a class, we organize cultural activities like the carnival. Um, there are, not only me or Professor Calisto and Sinal have environments or have places to, to practice. There are a lot of places we can visit or the, we have friends in virtual worlds. We can use their places like Spanish speak in Second Life. Um, and at the restaurant, there is a Spanish, uh, yes, from Spain, a place from Spain. They have um, a restaurants, they have bars, they, they have a, a copy of the a very famous beach in, in real life in Mexico. And we visit, we, we can visit that places to, to practice the language. Uh, not only we have a classroom, a traditional classroom, no, we can, as I, as I said, we can make field trips or have cultural activities or musical activities or recreate an, an scenario like in the picture in the middle, telling stories about Day of the Dead. My, my student, Right, wrote several stories, uh, several plays, talking about Day of the Dead in Mexico, and we uh, we write, we perform, we act, we um, we talk about that uh, cultural things, and that way we practice, we practice the language. Well, uh, talking about me specifically, uh, we are going to talk about escape also. Uh, let me change the slide. Uh, me, well, me specifically, I use these tools, these kind of tools to have my class, to teach the language. Um, I use the avatars, I use virtual books, uh, screen and, board, and whiteboards, animation, gesture, note cards, words and construction. How? How, for example, on the picture at the top, uh, we we can have costumes and play uh, role play, and uh, that is very funny and very. I love that because we can, as we do in real life, we we have our costumes and perform something or talk about a uh, story, historic historical information. Uh, and we wear our costume, same in Second Life. We can get that, and it is very, very funny. Uh, to give my student, the, it's a class, it's a Spanish class. Uh, this student needs material for study to study. Well, we can uh, print these virtual books, as you can see on the board. And I use note cards, the note cards in uh, the, our text to write and that way students can practice their Spanish writing. Mm -hmm. So, 
again, in virtual worlds, second life, DG world, we can, yeah, yeah, we have, we have a lot of fun. It is very funny. It is very interesting. Um, I learned also uh, every class. I learned something new, not only about my my classes, my Spanish classes, uh, technical uh, information, scripts. Yeah, scripts. I'm learning a script how to write a script now because it's very important. <laughs> Me, not only how to teach, not only use the the things are in in virtual worlds. We have to learn. Me, like a teacher, I have to learn also. Let me change the slide. Uh, avatars. I was talking about avatars. Why are important avatars? Well, we when we use our avatars, we can recreate that that immersion, that presence in the in the world. Uh, it's the same like. Like in real life, we have our characters, we have our, uh, our us, we are us inside the world. I have my avatar, Eugenia Calderon is the teacher, and my students have, uh, have their avatars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, Maggie is my, my student, one of my students, a very, very, very great student. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She, ha she has been advancing mm -hmm, in the classes. She speaks Spanish now. And well, all the time we have. No, of course not. Of course not. No, the, the courses are very, very cheap. Mm -hmm. Very, very cheap. Yeah, we can talk later about that. <laughs> talk about money. Mm -hmm. Well, um, avatars. I was talking about avatars. Uh, yes, we we get a presence with our avatars in in virtual worlds, and other important thing is uh, when we use our avatars, we can see, we can discover, we the the student can feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Me myself, I feel more comfortable to to talk, and I am not nervous. My student. Not, are not nervous also either, and that is uh, the reason the import the important thing of avatars. Uh, for example, we have uh, in a class we can talk uh, fluently, we can read. Uh, doesn't matter if we have mistake. No, doesn't matter. The important is we talk. Uh, we, for, for example, the, the plays we organize, uh, student can act uh, in a play, can perform. Yeah, well, most of the time we read the text, but uh, that reading helps for practice, helps to, to get fluency, fluency in the language. We organize special activities like Christmas time, mm -hmm, and then we use our costumes also. Uh, in our place, students can use costumes, also Mexican costume. Uh, we talk about uh, clothes the, in Spanish, of course. They learn how to say that kind of costume in Spanish. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we, we go shopping also. <laughs> and we practice how to buy something, how to ask about prices and a lot of things. Uh, here, here in Escape, uh, especially, Escape is, uh, well, we use virtual worlds. We use all the things virtual worlds can offer. A store, um, a movie theater, a bar, a discotheque, or a cool, don't know, an um, old CD or scare CD, all that things helps. But in escape, escape especially here we are, is designed especially for practice Spanish. Uh, exactly, we have we have a bank, a store, a restaurant, a house, a, a shopping center, a, a church, a cultural uh, cultural house, uh, the theater, the the the, the um, 
my cultural place. Well, we have a lot of things to, to practice. This escape is designed especially for that. We have activities we can do. Um, escape is designed more for, well, for teachers, um, for uh, language teachers. And that way you can, well, it is important to talk about that, to contact Professor Calisto Encinal. Uh, they can talk uh, more about the teacher can use escape. Uh, let me write the question. Mm. Ah, good question. Um, me, specifically, I have, uh, well, I use English uh, to, to talk about my classes. I use English because generally people some know some English or speak English. In virtual world, most of the people speak English, so that is the, and that, that is the language I know. And in that case, well, I use English to, to talk about my classes. And I have a, a special course, a special course is Spanish Explorer. My course is, um, for very beginner student, I explain the topic in English and I introduce a student into Spanish and explain how we are going to work, which is the vocabulary we are going to, to read, to use. And we are, I explain how to pronounce a language and specific, or especially how we conjugate because conjugation is a little hard topic in Spanish. So me, me specifically, I have a, a special course for very, very beginners, and it is in English. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the other question, uh, you let me check my, my uh, history. Uh, how did we, how do we get the name Escape? Well, um, not my idea. It was a professor idea, Professor Calisto Encinal idea. And he chose that name because he talked about uh, escape, we escape into other language. So that is the reason of the name. Uh, the, he was talking about that we can move, move to another scenario, living here, comfortable, but then we escape to another scenario. So that is the reason of the name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, the the idea is not mine. Is professor idea. Okay. Now let me change the slide. Uh, we, we we were talking about avatars. Yes, uh, uh, avatars allow students to perform different roles without fear or being criticized or judged. Uh, the, the, we feel more comfortable. Doesn't matter if we have mistake. Uh, I change the slide. Oh, wait, wait. I have to, to change my board. Wait for me, please. Uh, I have another board. Be to use it. Here it is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, avatars. Avatars help reduce student anxiety. If they have mistakes, it doesn't matter, not, not us, real people, we have the mistake, no, it's the avatar who has the mistake, so we can feel less, less uh, nervous and more comfortable. And if we have a mistake, for example, on the, bo on the board, you can see uh, that phrase, yo soy hablando español. That is a mistake. Mm -hmm. The correct phrase is yo estoy hablando español. So if uh, our avatars have that mistake, doesn't matter. We can correct. So that is the, the importance of the avatars. The avatars are playing the class, are taking the class. We learn, of course, but they are there in front of the teacher, so we can feel protected, right? <laughs> okay. Um, student at the class, we can talk, talking in the class, 
we can talk at the class, we can act in a play, as you can see again on that picture. Um, we can practice different vocabulary, it depends on the scenario. For example, in that picture, practicing vocabulary, we were talking about vocabulary at the bathroom. Not only the way, the names of the object, no, that kind of vocabulary at their bathroom. Sometimes some slang, yeah, is part of the class, but we practice that. And sometimes we can say, mm, maybe not uh, comfortable words or appropriate words, words. Maybe some slang. Yeah, we learn that also in our class. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me change the the slide. Oh wait. Okay, it is changing. Uh, other kind of um, of tools to use in virtual worlds. Well, screen and whiteboards. We can use them for a lecture, or to see a movie, or for a class. There are a lot of whiteboards in virtual worlds. Uh, for a speech or for a party also, or to give information. So that uh, Second Life virtual worlds are a great tool to, to use. They, they have great tools to use to, to have a class, to teach a language. Uh, I change, wait. Gestures and animation, mm -hmm, yeah, we use that, I use that. Uh, for practicing actions, well, when we are talking about doing something or talking as, uh, um, well, in all the tenses, of course, we were dancing, we are going to dance, or we dance now, uh, all the tenses. And uh, the animation, see, the animation of avatars helps a lot. Uh, when we want to talk about feelings, yeah, we have a special topic about that. Expressing feelings, well, our, our avatars helps also because the the faces can change. Now, now with the new new advanced animation, the bento bento shapes in in virtual worlds in Second Life, especially, uh, they have hearts to change the expression in the face, the movement of the body, the, the dancing, everything. They have a, a lot of animation on the, on the shapes, on the bodies, and we can use that. Uh, it's the same with doings in real life. When our students don't understand too much Spanish, well, we act. We teacher, we, we perform, we move our body, we do faces with our face. And the same we do with the new, the animation of the um, avatars. Also the animation in the, in the furnitures, in the things, in the items in, in virtual worlds. The, like in the, in the house, using animation and vocabulary of the house. Taking a shower, sleeping on a bed, uh, lying on a couch, or going to the bathroom, sleeping, all that animation we can use for our class. Uh -huh. So, of course, all the vocabulary is in Spanish. Uh, so, that is the reason Second Life, the world, virtual worlds are excellent tools to teach. Uh, let me change the. Um, Buildings, uh, copy, uh, well, buildings, places. Again, we can do, we can use uh, that places to, to make field trips, to talk about a special place like Machu Picchu or, or creating some pyramids like Mayan Pyramid at Escape or My Pyramid in Second Life, uh, Topan Solco Pyramid. Uh, we can, I am learning how to build. But if I don't know, don't, doesn't, don't mind. We have builders, we can recreate that places for us. Uh, so Professor Calisto Encinal had this place, Mi Casa Es Su Casa, My House Is Your House. He had that place in Second Life. Now it's closed, but I hope it, uh, it can be open soon. 
Uh, in Spanish speak, uh, there is another uh, great place uh, to, to practice Spanish. And well, not only these Latin places, no, we can visit all the places in virtual worlds and we can, well, well, we teachers, we can organize the vocabulary, of course, for the any field trip, but we can travel, we can explore uh, all places, a lot of places in virtual worlds. What else? Um, wait for me. Other tools? Well, when we work with, with virtual worlds, worlds, I'm sorry, my English sometimes uh, is not good. Um, we, well, we use all the, that information, our blogs, our websites, our uh, YouTube to listen a song or look for a wiki, Wikipedia to look for some cultural information. Well, students sometimes uh, has to have to uh, investigate some about a specific topic and then that way we use these kind of tools. Let me change very fast. Uh, the um, cultural, artistic and cultural activities. Um, part, part of, uh, to get that immersion environment, well, uh, we can organize that kind, that kind of activities. Uh, having a party or organizing something about a specific um, event, for example, here we have a picture of Day of the Dead uh, in, in Spanish speak. We put that kind of decoration or an information about Day of the Dead, a, a very important uh, celebration in Mexico. Uh, when we talk about Mexican Revolution, well, we put some information about that event and we wear our, our costume also. Uh, last year in Escape, we were celebrating the independence of Mexico because I am Mexican and uh, we invite people to join us. Uh, we recreate that, that event. Uh, Professor Calisto Encinal was our hero, <laughs> our Mexican hero, Miguel Hidalgo. And well, we, we um, call for the Mexican independence. Uh, very funny, right? Uh, I mean, from United States, calling from independence of Mexico. Well, we do, we did that. <laughs> we recreate, re re remember, is, is, we get, we get that recreation of real life. And it is very funny. Um, next, next slide. Let me show you. Uh, exhibition and cultural lecture that are other kind of tool to, to get the knowledge, to get a student practice or get the language, practice the language. Uh, here we have some picture about the activities we have uh, organized. Day of the Dead in Spanish speak. Spanish speak is a special place in Second Life. I, I really love, love uh, them because they work so hard to get uh, the practice of Spanish. Um, we organize in Spanish speak, in, in escape also, okay, Mexican Revolution, uh, International Women's Day, several, several uh, cultural and historic, historical activities in Spanish, all the information, of course, to help students to get their practice. And what else? Um, let me change, please wait. Music, concert, DJs, karaoke, yeah, there are some of the, the um, activities we can organize to, again, to practice the language. And there are some places, not only us, our places, uh, Spanish Speak or Spanish with Eugenia or Escape. No, we, there are more uh, Latin places in virtual worlds, like Tropicana Ballroom in Second Life. Uh, or there are more friends uh, creating places, Latin places. Uh, they speak Spanish and they help. We visit sometimes if we have the opportunity. We visit the, the, their places 
to practice Spanish. We can listen or we can read the Spanish chats and that way we, we can practice the language. Let me change. The um, theater workshop. Oh, this is very important. Very, very important. <laughs> This is a very funny, we, we were talking about that, but let me say something more. I use this activity because it's very funny. With my student, we perform uh, play, plays. Sometimes plays uh, that uh, which are written, uh, have been written by my student. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was, I wanted to talk about that. This on this black, no, white, white arrow, <laughs> that girl with the white arrow, yeah, it's Maggie. <laughs> and I, I put that arrow in that place, Maggie, sorry. <laughs> that is Maggie. Maggie was uh, acting a drunken girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was very funny, very, very funny. In the other picture, my student was performing uh, different characters, different role, roles, and in Spanish all the time. Mm -hmm. And we have mistakes, of course. Sometimes we we can't pronounce, but doesn't matter. No, doesn't matter. The important is to try, to try to have fun, to speak Spanish, to read a text. That is the idea. Uh, with when we do that, all that activities and the activities are funny well we enjoy and we get the language mm -hmm. so that is uh, this is the activity i really love our theater workshop uh, we have been we have presented some plays in second life and we are we are going to continue working with that because it is very funny very very funny activity this is another tool we use in virtual worlds to teach to teach spanish uh, collaborative collaborative action. Well, I was talking about that. Uh, we visit some places, Latin places, in virtual worlds, to know people, to to know Spanish speakers, to read information in Spanish, to participate in the different activities organized by the Spanish speaker. We, when we have the opportunity to participate, we do. So we do. Uh, so that way, well, it's another activity we can do for practice the language. And um, uh, then me finish the the blah 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 uh, because I want to to we want we have to make a travel by escape. Um, well, to finish this presentation, uh, what happened? Okay, we we were talking about the good things we we get in virtual worlds to teach a language, mm, but sometimes we have some problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not all the things are happy. Uh, we have sometimes we have technical issues or poor internet internet connection or maybe student uh, don't think my classes are serious because Second Life is a game. Or maybe they can think, well, not possible to, to pay, or maybe not, that they don't have too much confidence about me or my classes, or uh, the um, differences in time zone. Well, so we have that kind of issues, but we fix, we fix that. When uh, the, the technology, technological advances fix that technological problems, but one thing important for the classes is the the to have a good computer and a good internet connection. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My student. Uh, sometimes I think, oh my God, they made me suffer <laughs> because they love to work and they and I'm happy for that. They do. A very long homeworks, and I have to check that homeworks <laughs> and take some time, some time. But no, it's okay. I love that. It, it, that says that says that say. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, my student works a lot, and I love that. 
and I hate them because I have to work more. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, um, what else? Talking about, uh, well, technical issues. They fix when the technical, technological advances. Um, they, when me, my people know me and know my classes, they see the classes are serious. I'm serious. Me and Professor Calisto Encinal, we are serious in our work. We have been here several years teaching our classes now with Professor Calisto. Well, I have my, my own place in Second Life and my own place in, in DigiWorld. But now here in Escape, we uh, we have created this place for a student. This is a very, very serious project for a student, uh, free to help them for practice. We have several activities. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are, uh, they, the student uh, discover our places and they see it is, take a class, take a class in virtual worlds, uh, could work, or well, is working. Uh -huh. You can learn the language, you can practice the language, you can use the virtual worlds to, to learn, to learn in this specifically here, a language, Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you to talk about me <laughs> and to say good things about me. Well, not only me. Uh, Professor Calisto Encinal has been working very, very hard uh, to, to create this place. First in Second Life with Mi Casa de Su Casa and now with Escape. Uh, we are well, relatively uh, new here in the UR. We have two years here working, but uh, it is created for a student for for practice Spanish. Well, now um, let me give you. Let me offer um, a tour, tour by escape, please. Uh, we are. I am going to show you how to use escape and what kind of activities you can do for practice. There are a lot of things, a lot of things. Uh, Professor uh, Calisto Encinal has been working very, very hard. Uh, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, I think we are, um, we say, I don't know how to say in English, um, abuse. <laughs> I think, yeah, I hope it's not a bad word. Uh, we abuse uh, Professor Calisto Encinal. I mean, we, I have my my own land to the, to, to, to the left uh, escape. And Maggie also has now his own land because we really love to be here near Professor Calisto. Well, he is a very, very nice person. Uh, well, how can I say? great person um, and that way that is the reason we have our lands they are built, well, in construction yeah uh, our lands are in construction so i hope soon i can we can offer more more scenarios for all the visitor and for a student mm -hmm. yeah exactly it's in construction <laughs> mine also please yeah, exactly, and maybe we can have a sandbox for new newbies, right? Yeah, I was thinking about that, a sandbox for newbies to help them how to build, a, well, some private place to change clothes because it's important. Please, come with me, come with me, let me show you. Escape. I was talking about my place, Spanish with, with Eugenia and Second Life, but now let me show you Escape. How we you how you can use Escape. First, come here. Come to the kiosk. To, to the information kiosk. Please join me. This way. Okay, 
here. Um, to use scape, you need to wear a hat. It is important to wear a hat. On the white box, the white and green box, the, it says click for latest version of uh, Scape Hut. You, if you click that hot box, you get the uh, note card and a hat. Uh, you have to wear the hat. It is going to appear on your screen. Um, sparrow? Is that a sparrow? I don't know the name of that bird. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, sometimes we have um, problems with the, the script. Uh, uh, detach. Detach the, the hut, please. If you have get some problems, yeah, sometimes we have that kind of script problems. Uh, you can fix that. For now, please detach. Uh, but, well, uh, the idea of that hut is uh, you can work with the activities. Uh, there are some instructions on the white box. It says, try me. Mm -hmm. On the note card, uh, you get also some uh, instruction to use the, the hat. Okay? Well, the idea is, when you wear your hat, you have the possibility to listen, well, to listen the, the voices pronouncing the vocabulary. We have uh, more than, well, 60 different grammar topics. Uh -huh. You can see here in these boxes, 60 activities. Uh, to practice vocabulary, to practice pronunciation, grammar topics, present tense, uh, progressive form, uh, different uh, activities. Mm, there are note cards to, which, uh, which have some information about the activities. Mm, follow. Uh, student generally uh, they have to follow the information, the instruction to do each of the activities. It depends of, of course, it depends of the program. Uh, the um, uh, for now the program is a, a, pro a professor Calistons in our program. Uh, the activities are following the Professor uh, Callisto program, but uh, don't mind by me, for example, I can use, I can, um, how can I say, put together that kind of activities with my program. Mm -hmm. I follow my own program, uh, but I use the different activities according with my own program. And the, um, uh, not only the activities using the heart, no, we can play, role play also in our conversational conversation class. Uh, we use the different scenarios to talk about the different topics, how to buy something, how to take a travel, how to ask something in a restaurant. Uh, we, uh, Spanish teacher, we can use escape the best way we can do, okay? or the best, the, the way we want to do. Well, first, yeah, we need you to have your heart and that way you can uh, do the different activities. In the different activities, you can see all, most of the time, a green ball, like this ball here. Uh -huh. the, in that, when students touch that green balls, uh, they get some instruction to do a, a specific activity. Uh, the activities are uh, learning, aprender en español, practicing, practicing one, practice one, practice two, practice generally three practices, two or three practices. Uh, practica uno, practica dos in Spanish, uh, exams, there are some exams, uh, that way uh, teachers uh, can see the, um, the way the, the way students learn, how they learn, how been advancing, how they are advancing in, the, in their classes, and the, when students finish some activity, 
the information goes to a database and then uh, teachers can see the evolution of a student. Uh, like I said, the activities are focused specifically on the program, educational program of Professor Calisto Encinal, but doesn't matter. Uh, me, I use these activities for my program also. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have to, they have to use the, they have to wear the hat, and that way you can see the activities and you can hear uh, somebody pronouncing the words, and that way students can practice pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So, not necessary to to have your stu your teacher here. The student can uh, practice, can learn by themselves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you can work alone. A student can work alone uh, to practice the language. Okay. Now, let me, um, sorry if I, I, I am uh, taking some photos, also meanwhile I am speaking, <laughs> so sorry if suddenly I close my voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go to, okay, I was talking about NPCs, the non-player characters, please come. Here we have one. Mm -hmm. On the plaza, we have several of that NPCs. Uh, according with the teacher's program, they can touch uh, one of the characters and they can practice basic dialogues. How would you ask his man his name? Of course, the, uh, some instructions are in English because um, Professor Calisto Encinal is from the United States, and most of the time people use English uh, in saying virtual words, so that is the reason we use. But of course, the oh great, Ricky is trying. Mm -hmm, yeah, uh, student can try touch touch the NPCs, and then they get some. It's a question, and then you can answer in local chat, or maybe getting a menu in, in their own screen, and they follow the instruction. Mm -hmm. Adios, adios, Kite. Thank you for coming. Uh -huh. all, all the, in all the plaza, in all the space, uh, we have uh, the several NPCs to practice, see, to help a student for practice the language. And now, let me, uh, let's go to another place. Uh -huh. like what else? Mm, the, let's go to the, here, here, come, please work, come with me, follow my avatar, please. Uh, here, for example, for beginners, for very, very beginners, they can practice the subject pronouns. Uh, they touch the green ball, remember? Green balls are important for practice. They practice, touch the green ball. You can touch if you want, but it doesn't matter if uh, it, it is blocked or locked, because sometimes when we touch, many people touching something, but doesn't work, doesn't matter, they fix soon. Uh, when the student touch that green balls, you, they get a menu and they have, yeah, great, yeah, you are doing, which is working, Pilar, Pilar is using the hat, great Pilar, very, very good. Um, you follow the instruction, you, student practice, the, the subject pronouns, yo, tu, usted, el, ella, and, uh, you hear a voice uh -huh, uh, saying the, the pronunciation of that word, and that way student practice the grammar topic and practice the pronunciation also. Mm -hmm. it, remember, it's important to wear the hat to listen, to listen the pronunciation of that kind of words. 
Okay, follow me. Let me show you another activity. Here, for example, here we have conjugation. Mm -hmm. Conjugation in present tense, for example. Again, student, try one of you, try the, the green ball. One of the uh, students or any of the students can try the green ball and then you get the conjugation of, the, of a specific verb in a specific person. Uh, when Conjugation is a, a hard topic in Spanish, so we put, put attention in that kind of activities to help a student for practice for practice conjugation. Great, very, very good. Ellos llevar. Uh -huh. uh, just, if you use ellos llevar, you have to say llevan, llevan. Uh -huh. Well, the, the activity gives you the instruction to do the, that kind of exercise and then you get something or in that case you get a, a balloon. <laughs> a very colorful balloon, so it is funny. Uh, you can work alone, of course, a student can work alone, not necessary to have the teacher here, but well, sometimes we teachers use this place and we do the activities uh, with the student and we can work together, okay? It's part of our, this is escape, is a tool, a tool in virtual worlds, to teach a language, in this case, to teach Spanish. Okay, now another place. Uh, come to the restaurant, please come. Mm -hmm. This is the restaurant. Uh, here we have a conjugation activity. The different NPCs uh, on the table has several exercises. Uh, specifically to to, to practice um, conjugation in present tense, in past tense also. A uh, student can sit on the chair beside the avatar, the NPC. Oh, great! Five, five, great, excellent. <laughs> and uh, if you want to remember how to conjugate present tense and past tense, well, here, here, of course, in uh, regular verbs in uh, we have in Spanish we have uh, three kinds of verbs. I mean uh, the verbs which end in r, r fin r ending or er ending or ir ending, hablar, comer, escribir. Mm -hmm. No, it, it, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It's very, very... Well, I think the difficult is the technical situation. Um, professor uh, writes the, the scripts to do all that. Uh -huh. But uh, when, if they do that, well, we teachers, we only want, we only use the activities. For us, for us it's easy, for students, it's easy. The only hard thing is how to create, but Professor Calisto in Sinal is, is excellent for create that. So we have to have an applause for him because um so bad, so shame he's not here. Uh, well, he if he will talk would talk more about this if he was here, but well. So sad he is not here. Um, okay, uh, so student can practice uh, conjugation here with the NPCs, and also inside, if we want to talk, practice conversation in a restaurant, well, student can uh, sit on the on the table, and there are um, a NPC which appears to ask you what do you want to eat or what do you want to drink or how much, how many money do you have to pay? Well, uh, if you, some of you sit on the table, there is an activity to 
to to to practice the conversation in a restaurant. Please, Mary. Yes, please sit. And let's see if the uh, NPC appears. Oh my God! What is the the waitress? Waitress, where are you? <laughs> oh my God! Let me see it on the other. If it is no, it is not working. I'm sorry. Sometimes we have this technical. Oh well, that is another of our issues, technical problems. Mm. But don't worry. Uh, I am going to ask Professor to fix because he is the owner of the scripts. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you have that. The dialogue on local chat. Yeah, here she is. Uh huh. That that is uh, the camarera. Mm -hmm. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Of course, of course. Whenever you want. Um. The, um yeah, you have to go to Second Life and see my schedule, Mombi. And uh, uh, and contact me. Uh -huh, contact me in Second Life. My avatar is the same, Eugenia Calderon. And you can uh, talk. We can talk uh, about that. You can join some of my classes and see. Mm -hmm. But contact me in Second Life. Well, um, so this is another activity we can do here. Mm -hmm. See, it is asking, ¿Qué desea tomar? Well, ask for a wine. Wine, what wine? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me show you another thing. Mm -hmm. Please come. Let's go to the school. Yes, it is a bot. Come, please. At the school, in the different rooms, we have different activities. Um, pronunciation or conjugation or vocabulary and about a specific topic. Let's go to the classroom. Please come. I'm sorry, we have some lag, but I think it can work. Uh -huh. Here at the classroom, mm -hmm. we have some activities, um, some vocabulary at the classroom. Uh, uh, if you can see the green ball, Again, if a student touch the green ball, they get a menu on their screen and uh, they have to follow the instruction, how to practice, how to, to, to learn some vocabulary. Uh, if you have your hat word, word uh, if you have your hat, you can touch some of the things on the, here on this classroom. And then you hear a voice saying, pronouncing. Mm, I think we get some a mistake and an error in in the hut. Mm, but try, try, try to touch the object. Uh, you can hear a voice saying, pronouncing. If you can't, it's because we have a, a mistake on the hut. But don't worry. If we, if it is if it it, it is not working. Later, we are going to fin fix that later. Oh, great, great, good. That is perfect. Um, I have I have here a mistake. That is the reason I am talking about that. But if it is working for you perfectly, good. I'm happy for that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on, on all the places, all the rooms here in Escape are a lot of activities for practice. Uh -huh. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. see, I see, aha, uh -huh. exactly, Sheila and Ricky, and Lux also, I see that here on my... Mm, no, yeah, well, some, some because we have a lot of buildings and a lot of scripts running. Mm -hmm. 
and that is the reason some students can, can get some lack. But I insist uh, we need to, to have a, the best computer we can have, we can get. That way we can work better uh, using virtual worlds. Uh, well, no, the not possible to rest uh, object because we have, don't have the permission to rest. Uh -huh. So, not possible to rest uh, object into the ground. Mm -hmm. We don't have the permission. Mm -hmm. Ah, when you wear the items. Oh, so weird. I suppose you have to, um, let me try if I wear something, or, well, let me try. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes, uh, well, maybe we don't have uh, any, oh, oh, wait, wait, uh, possible to, we have to be member. No, no, not necessary to be a member of the group. Um, let me see my group. Or maybe, yes, we need to be a member of the group. Mm -hmm. I think that is the problem. We have, we have to be a member of the escape group, and that way we can, then we rest, we can rest something. Mm -hmm. Let me ask professor, when I have the opportunity to talk about, to talk him, to speak with him, and ask what happened. Some, um, well, uh, he, he made, an upgrade, he can load or upgrade the sim, and sometimes when he upgrade, eh, something is not working. I mean the permission. We don't have all the permission to do something, and that is the reason maybe uh, our uh, our resin is not working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that maybe I, I think that is the reason. The he upgraded the the sim. Okay, so um, visit please, uh, explore, uh, escape whenever you want. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. Okay, I'm here. Um, um, explore, explore, escape. There are a lot of activities to do. Uh, if you are a teacher, if you are a Spanish teacher, you can visit Escape whenever you want and try to use the activities also. Mm -hmm. uh, well, try to follow your own programs. Uh, explore and see what kind of activities uh, can use, you can use for your classes. So it is open. It is open for students and for teachers. Um, what I use, I use Escape, Second Life also, and other virtual worlds, and Escape and DigiWorld for my classes. Mm -hmm. Well, specifically Escape because I we are working together, Professor and me. Mm -hmm. So, well, uh, I said explore. When you have time, uh, it takes some time to to explore all of the activities. Uh, and we, Maggie and I, we are going to <laughs> to do to to make bigger uh, escape we, we, because we have at our own scenes uh, escape near escape. Well, beside escape, uh, later we are going to have more, more and more things to offer students and teachers. Um, well, uh, do you have any question? or any comment about this presentation on the or the uh, information you want to know or help uh, yes i have my i have my own my own place in second life uh, we professor and me we work together uh, here in, in escape but in second life i work alone and professor also sometimes he use second life. Generally he, he is here in escape. But me generally you can find me in second life. Mm 
Yes, yes. Uh, in Second Life is Calisto Encinal. Y here in Escape, el profesor. We also have a. Uh, on the walking tour of Chilbo, the walking and flying tour of Chilbo, um, uh, there's a description of Eugenia's place and also of the Digi DigiWorld's Escape Plazita as well with landmarks. So you can also get them from the walking walking and flying tour of Chilbo card that's in the SL uh, MOOC. But just walk north um, from the headquarters and you'll you'll see Eugenia's school over to the east, um, past the uh, past the lake, a little bit past the lake and the the Chilbo Public Library. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for your information, Maggie. Friendship. Thank you for your friendship. Well, thank you guys for well, for for coming and thank you, A. Eugenia, for giving us this tour. And I can highly recommend this if you're teaching. Uh, Spanish because um, I have enjoyed so much when Eugenia brings us over here, although it's a little scary to use use the bank and pretend we're bankers and customers or bank robbers or <laughs> and to use the airport and pretend we're passengers or the airport personnel, that kind of thing. It's very good for role playing and uh, using your daily language in, in, in Spanish. And, it, and it's a wonderful place to just walk around with the HUD and practice. So that's, that's also great. Thank you. Thank you, all of you, for coming. Thank you, Maggie, for the invitation to, for, to participate in the SL MOOC 17. Thank you, Nelly, also. Well, thanks, every, thanks everybody, for coming. And um, the, the video should be up on YouTube in a couple of days. I'm a little bit behind on the videos. and. Um, uh, please come back here. Enjoy DigiWorld. There's, it's got its own character, and as Eugenia says, over the next year we will um, both be making new things on our land to supplement what's going on over here, and then other things as well. I'm hoping next year to have some of the discussion forums um, here in DigiWorlds. And thanks to Eugenia for being in the SL MOOCs going all the way back to 2014. So we have lots of videos of her on the SL MOOC playlists on YouTube as well. So thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Gracias, Maggie.